Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetsuit.com and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and full review of the Lava E-Tab which is called the Lava Ivory Tab. So here we have the device with us with the package and when we take a look over the package this is how the tablet is going to look like. Uh, you also get some pre-installed applications from games from EA, you, call, you get Opera Mini pre-installed, you get Paytime application pre-installed, you get Hangama application, WhatsApp is also pre-installed and you also get two games the total recall and NFS shift which will come pre-installed on this device uh, this is a dual sim 3g tablet uh, you have a high definition display the processor is 1.2 gigahertz dual core mediatek processor which we have on this device this is how the package looks like again pretty sleek packaging i would say when it comes to the back side we have the specifications mentioned it has android 4.1 jelly bean on this device you have 7 inch of high definition display with a resolution of 1024 into 600 and it is not going to be a proper high definition display when it comes to the camera the back camera is 2 megapixel only whereas the front camera is a 0.3 megapixel fixed focus front VGA camera you have 1 GB of DDR3 RAM on this device 4 GB of internal memory and when it comes to the dual sim support it will support two sim card it has wi-fi gps and bluetooth connectivity and the battery which is there inside the tablet which cannot come out is 2800 mAh and we will also tell you about the SAR values of the document so let SAR values of the device so let's unbox this and let's take a look what we have in the package so the first thing which we get in the package is the lava ivory tab and this is how it looks like as you can see it looks pretty good in terms of the overall finishing you have aluminium brushed metal basically and this is aluminium which we have on the back side of the tablet feels pretty good and also quite solid in terms of the overall build you have the nice matte finish on the edges and they are quite rounded so you can easily hold the tablet in one hand that is one good thing about this tablet you have a white bezel uh, on the tablet on the front the earpiece is over here uh, you have the sim card calling functionality on this device you have the proximity and emit light sensor this is the 0.3 megapixel front front camera fixed focus when it comes to the back camera we have the 2 megapixel back camera and we are not sure whether this will support autofocus or not when it comes to the top you have the power button power and sleep key you have the 3.5mm audio jack over here on this side you have all the slot there is a slot for the micro sd memory card to expand the storage of the device and there are two sim slots so you can use two sim card into this device uh, when it comes to the three support and it will support 2G as well as 3G one of the slots will support 3G when it comes to the bottom you have the micro USB port for data syncing and charging here you have a primary mic for noise uh, for voice calling basically and here we have the loudspeaker of the tablet as you can see so let's take a look what we have in the package and we will take a look over the device later on so inside the package we get the OTG cable which comes within the package so this tablet does have OTG support that is why it is there and it, we have the micro USB cable which comes within the package a standard one the user manual for the lava e-tab ivory and it tells you about the basic features of the tablet and how to use it apart from this you also get this warranty certificate within the package we have the universal USB charger which comes within the package and the output current from the charger is 2000 milliampere so it is a 2 ampere charger and here we have the headphones which also comes within the package and again the standard headphones are actually coming within the package of this tablet as you can see they are very standard one they do not even have the metallic mesh as you can see you have the mic module although for taking the voice calls on this tablet whenever you are using it you do have a mic and a button to pick the call and these are very standard headphones and this is how the audio lead looks like and these are all things which we have in the package so let's take a look over the device now so here we have the lava ivory tab and this is the e-tab which they have and when it comes to the overall build quality the overall material which has been used to manufacture this tablet is pretty good the plastic quality is good you have a metal finish at the back side which again gives the device a kind of a premium look and it is matte finish 
uh, brushed metal basically which will give you a nice grip when you hold the device in one hand and this tablet is not too big in hold to hold in one hand and also very light in terms of the overall weight we are not sure about the exact weight of this device but it is pretty light in terms of the overall weight being a 7 inch tablet at the bottom we have the primary mic for voice calling we are not able to locate a secondary mic on this device for noise cancellation and video chart on this side we have the volume rocker which is again a plastic button but gives you good amount of feedback the thickness of the device is around 10.8 mm again not very thick tablet i would say so quite comparable to the other 7 inch tablets which we have seen in the market now as far as display is concerned the display which we have on this device is a tft capacitive touchscreen display and uh, the resolution of the display is 1024 into 600 pixels and if we take a closer look over the text which is there on the display you won't notice pixelation in the text however you will notice slight softness in the formation of the text so it is not a full high definition display but again the display is pretty good in terms of the pixel clarity i would say the text is quite clear to read on this display you won't notice much pixelation with naked eyes uh, unless you read a document which has a large amount of text in it you won't notice pixelation on the screen as far as the viewing angles for this display is concerned they are pretty okay not very wide you will definitely notice the fading of color whenever you view the screen from extreme viewing angles either from the left or right and from vertical viewing angles you might notice the blackening in the display happening the ui which we see on this device is again stock android you have like 5 home screen which you cannot increase and decrease and if so when it comes to the version of android it is 4.1.2 when it comes to storage let me just show you the storage as well so the device has 4 gb of internal memory and out of which around 503 mb is reserved by the operating system for applications and other data uh, when, when it comes to the user available memory you get around 1.54 gb available to the user you do have support for sd card so you can expand the storage of the device however we are not sure as of now whether you can install apps directly on the sd card or not when it comes to brightness you do have support for automatic brightness because of the embed light sensor over here you also have the option of creating a portable wi-fi hotspot on this device uh, using the 3g sim card which you can insert over here on this device into any of these slots and you can create a portable wi-fi hotspot you have support for bluetooth tethering as well on this device and usb tethering is also supported now as far as ram is concerned you have 1 gb of ram on this device and out of 1 gb of ram uh, approximately 578 mb of ram is free for the user for applications however the use part of the ram is around 381 mb approximately on this device as you can see in idle scenario and you can also use this tablet for gps navigation with the help of assisted gps and when it comes to the settings you need to make sure that you enable the gps satellite option and enable the gps epo assistance and assisted gps before you can use this device for navigation now when it comes to some pre-installed application which you will get on this device you get file manager pre-installed you get some ebook related application pre-installed you get the stock android browser which comes with this device you also have fm radio on this device file manager is also there there are two file managers which will which you will see on this device as far as the default applications are concerned you also get whatsapp pre-installed uh, and when it comes to other application third party application you get opera mini and olx pre-installed as well and you also get a video player to play all the video which you have on this device now here we have the system information for this tablet uh, we have an ARM v7 processor on this device clocked at 1.2 gigahertz it is a dual core cpu and the chipset is mediatek 8377 when it comes to the display resolution the display resolution is 600 into 976 lesser than the one which we have just told you because there are touch capacitive buttons are there within the screen not on the body of the device so they take some part of the screen resolution when it comes to the sensors you have three axis accelerometer sensor proximity sensor and light sensor on this device you do not have a magnetic sensor on this device but this device will support gps navigation with the help of assisted gps now to show you the overall performance of device in terms of the gaming we are playing riptide over here on this device and as far as graphics are concerned there is no lag which we can notice on this device till now while playing this game 
graphics are pretty good and the response from the screen is also pretty good in terms of the touch screen response it is pretty good there is no issue with that when it comes to the overall graphics i do not notice any lag the sensor on the device are also working well as you can see the gravity sensor is working pretty well and let me just turn the volume to full So the overall volume of sound which comes out from the loudspeaker is also pretty loud on this device as you can see there is no issue with that and the loudspeaker is actually placed at the bottom basically at the back side of the device so one thing which will happen is that whenever you place the device like this on a table the loudspeaker volume will get affected this is how the phone dialer look like on this device and when it comes to the phone dialer although this device support video calling but you do not see a video call option directly from the phone dialer now this is how the camera ui look like and again the camera ui is actually stock android in terms of the overall look and feel and we have a 2 megapixel back camera on this tablet which is not too good in terms of the overall picture quality however you will get little bit better pictures in daylight uh, you do not have tap to focus support so it, there is no auto focus support on this device as far as camera is concerned the rear camera is 2 megapixel only and when it comes to the video let me just show you the video view as well and you do have support for panorama mode as well on this device in the camera ui and let me just show you the settings for the photo first of all so when we take a look over the settings for the photos you have continuous shot supported you can capture up to 99 shots the picture size maximum can be 2 megapixel and you also have self timer supported when it comes to the video setting let me just show you the video settings as well under video settings you can record the video at high quality it won't be a high definition video definitely and the video duration can be uh, specified over here and you can also specify other settings as you can see including the scene mode and when it comes to taking a photo in low light we are just going to take the photo of this phone in this indoor room with some artificial light let's take a look how does this photo look like when we take it so we have just taken this photo and as you can see the photo is pretty good in terms of the colors i would say again it is slightly over bright in terms of the overall clarity when it comes to zooming you can see good amount of noise so the camera performance on this device is going to be average because the camera is again a 2 megapixel camera and you can't expect much from the 2 megapixel camera and let me just show you the view from the front camera so that you can get an idea about the video call so this is how the overall quality will look like when you do a video call from this device the front camera is a 0.3 megapixel fixed focus vj camera and the overall colors from this camera and the feed is pretty good although it does lack the kind of details it should have whenever you do a video call but still this is how it is going to be as far as the video quality is concerned when you do a video call from this device the sitting application which we have on this device is again stack stock android as you can see in terms of the overall look and feel the keyboard key size is pretty big so you won't face any problem while typing on this device still if you face it you can always type in the landscape mode as well although you do not have continuous input supported on this device or swipe to type is not supported and you also have a reset hold over here in case you experienced some issue with the tablet or the tablet is hang you can always reset the device by inserting a pointing object over here in this hole so the score which we have got on nt2 benchmark for this device is 8954 and this is how the detail score look like for the cpu ram gpu and input and output operation when we take a look over the ranking when we compare it with other devices this is where the device ranks so it is uh, nearby to samsung galaxy s2 i would say in terms of the overall benchmark score on nt2 the score which we have got on this device for the nina mark is quite low that is 20.6 fps but still this device can play some casual games pretty okay without any issues including temple run oz temple run 2 subway surfer as well and when it comes to the medium graphic intensive game you can play most of those games however the heavy graphic intensive game will definitely lag on this device when you try to play it because this is a budget android tablet 
the score which we have got on nt2 is 3238 as you can see and this is how the device ranks when it comes to comparing it with other devices when we take a look over the detailed score the detailed score look like this for the cpu memory input output operation 2d and 3d the overall interface on this device is almost stock android either it is the music player or it is the camera ui we do not see much customizations on this device as far as the ui of the applications or the home screen ui is concerned so now we are playing a high definition video on this device and the video is not getting played in high definition but it is played getting played in high quality format as you can see and when it comes to the display for the video it is not the full screen which we can experience this video uh, we can always notice this black bar which will always show up whenever you are watching a video from youtube on this device as you can see which is not good at all because this will definitely take some part of the screen revolution it is kind of annoying as well even if you hold the device like this you will see this uh, black bar all the time and this is how the overall viewing angles will look like on this display when it comes to watching a video viewing angles are not very good i would say there is a blackening of the display as well as the fading of color is also happening whenever you watch the video from extreme viewing angles on this device vertical viewing angles are not at all good and let me just show you the volume of sound which comes out from the loudspeaker Now for the overall volume of sound which comes out from the loudspeaker it is pretty loud but it is not very crisp that is something which we have noticed but still the overall quality of sound which comes out from the loudspeaker is louder than the other tablets from which we have heard uh, while playing any video from YouTube. For the high definition video playback this device can play high definition video at 720p without any issues uh, for example if we play a video of 720p on this device there will be no problem while playing this video as you can see you can forward the video as well without any issues however if you want to play a video which is recorded at 1080p like this one you will see some audio video sync issues as far as the default player is concerned so whenever you play a video you will see some kind of video and audio sync issues on the device while playing these videos uh, but you can always play the 1080p videos as well on this device using the MX Player application in which So as far as OTG support is concerned you do have OTG support on this device and the OTG cable does come within the package as we have just connected a flash drive and this device has detected the same so you can read the contents on the flash drive you can play movies songs and other data which you have on a flash drive on this device with the help of an OTG cable which will come within the package so the overall quality of sound which comes out from the loudspeaker is pretty okay not too good in terms of the bass level i would say it is quite sharp when it comes to the earpiece the quality of sound which comes out from the earpiece is also pretty good when it comes to the headphones the headphones are quite standard which comes with this particular device so the overall quality of sound which comes out from the headphones is not too good it is quite okay again now one thing which is good about this tablet is that you can actually select SD card as the default write disk so in case you want to install apps directly on the SD card you can do that by just changing this option over here but again in order to make this setting come into effect you will have to restart the tablet and there is no LED notification light on this device anywhere which will give you an indication for the charging or for the missed call notification so that's all from us as far as the full hands-on review of the Lava Ivory tab is concerned. We really like this tablet as far as the overall features and the functionality which is being offered by this tablet. The overall build quality of the tablet is pretty good. You get a metal-like finish at the back side with good quality of plastic which is being used on the edges and it is again matte finish. So it will give you a nice grip when you hold the tablet in one hand. It is pretty light in terms of the overall weight. The display is also pretty okay, not too good. Again the viewing angles are not very wide on this display when you view it but still decent in terms of the overall uh, number of pixels and the clarity of the display is concerned. The overall loudness which comes out from the loudspeaker is also pretty loud however it will get blocked if you place it like this on a table so you have to hold it right in that case. So the overall feedback uh, about this particular product 
we would like to give a thumbs up to this tablet uh, which comes from lava do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you